you guys. Wes and Adelina. Yeah, here with your guys' weekly update for Christmas. Woohoo. Technically, it's December 25th, Adelina. Right now? Well, when this comes out, it will be. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, this is a weekly update for you guys on December 25th. It's the week of Christmas. Christmas is amazing. This is Adelina's favorite holiday? Absolutely. It is, for 110%. sure. 110%. Yeah. <laughs> Lights everywhere. Why is it your favorite holiday? I'm going to be honest. Cookies, man. <laughs> you got holiday cookies all over the place. It's my favorite. <laughs> With that being said... Our last day to sign up for the nutrition challenge, you guys, is the 30th, which is this Saturday. Um, the sign up is where, Adelina? It's going to be up on our website. There is a little tab on there, and it just says nutrition challenge. You guys sign up. It's super easy to do. I think it's like name and first and last name. It asks what would be one of your goals to be on the nutrition challenge, um, and then an email, and then it'll ask you about when would be the best time to meet with a coach because you are going to be meeting with a coach one time a week for at least 15 to 20 minutes just kind of going over your goals and stuff like that so super easy make sure you sign up for that awesome uh our new year schedule guys we are closed on the first of january so new year's which is going to be next monday um so don't come in we're closed that day <laughs> Only day we're closed is going to be today, December 25th, uh, this Monday, and then next Monday on New Year's Day itself. All the other classes, totally normal. Everything's open. Adelina, we got new what on the website? Apparel. Boom, chicka dum boom, chicka dum <laughs> Guys, make sure you get some apparel. I know people are going to look back and be like, oh, I wish I would have gotten that sweater. Make sure you get the sweater. You get the baseball tees. We got some cool tanks, and there's like a ton of different colors to choose from, so make sure you do that soon. I don't know when the last day for that is well we're going to be updating that stuff pretty regularly so okay. that stuff's going to be coming off the website new stuff's going to be going up i can't say exactly when um but it's going to be way more regular than we've ever done <laughs> so that's kind of the cool thing about how we're doing it but um yeah those i wouldn't expect them to stay up longer than a month okay so make sure you guys get your stuff yep awesome you guys uh save the date January 13th. It's time to party. Oh my gosh, you guys. This is going to be the last hurrah at the gym. This is going to be the last party we ever have here. Ever, ever, ever. So make sure you come January 13th. Save the date. It's going to be awesome. Yeah, we're thinking um, a little send off for where it all began and kind of like the end really of an sad. era. <laughs> it is kind of sad, for <laughs> sure. I think... Um, the last few days, actually, they've they started the construction at the new place. So, like, tearing down all the offices and yeah. stuff like that. And it's kind of becoming very real for me. And so, like, okay. now every time I walk into this gym, I'm, like, trying to take a moment to look around and kind of soak it in and remember where we started and yeah. remember the L shape. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, the man. L shape. The OGs all remember the L shape. Yeah. So, January 13th, guys, we're having our holiday party. It's going to be here at Coast Range CrossFit. Open bar, dude. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Here we go. Coast Range CrossFit drinking team. Where are you at? Yeah, we're going to do it big, guys. We're going to have an open bar, but we're going to ask, I think, don't hold me to this, but this is what we're thinking. Bring something to eat. We'll Pot spend the money style. on the booze. You guys bring the food, and we'll, we'll rage. Yep. We'll have a great time. It'll be fun. Uh, we don't have an exact time on that yet, but that'll be coming out in the near future. Just make sure you guys save the date. Don't go anywhere. You're not going to want to miss our last party we have in this gym. Uh, gift certificates. Tell us something about that, Alina. So we have gift certificates, and they are $100 gift certificates that we are giving out. You guys don't have to be paying for these or anything like that. We're just giving them out to you. They don't expire. And what you can do is give them to somebody that has wanted to try CrossFit before but has never actually tried it. These are going to go towards their first month or like second month or third, or third month. It goes towards their monthly dues. It's not going to be going towards an on-ramp. But it will go towards that monthly due. Um, and yeah, just give them out to whoever you want. They don't expire, like I said. Um, that's all I have to say about that, really. Yeah, I had uh, Corey. I was like, hey, Corey, do you know anybody who wants to do CrossFit? Man, we got a $100 gift certificate. And he goes, ah, oh, you know, I just can't afford that right now. And I was like, wait, what are you talking about? I was like, dude, we're going to give it to you. He's like, what? Oh, I thought I had to pay yeah. for it. And I was like, <laughs> no, no, no. So just so you guys are, are you know, 100% clear, these are gifts that we're giving to you. For you to give to somebody else. Yeah. And basically act like you gave them $100. Right. That's what it is. So come and get it. Cool? Um, Last thing for you guys. Tip of the week. This is a big one. I just saw Adelina do it, and this is like one of my biggest pet peeves. Dun, I'm going to talk dun. about it in a second. Oh, God. But it's about the stuff 
You guys, all the things, the lifting shoes, the belts, the knee sleeves, the wrist wraps, all the chalk. That's me. Oh, all the chalk everywhere. And then the new thing lately has been the eye watch. Oh, oh God. goodness! It's the Fitbit, man. It, it's the Fitbit challenges I got going on. I can't take my Fitbit off. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah, I've seen people checking uh, text messages in the middle of workouts. Yeah, like if you could just have one hour without your phone, you know what yep. I mean? That would be awesome. Okay, but let's talk about the things. What are they for? Why do we need them? When do we need them? And why you probably don't need them? All right. So. Why do we usually want the things, Evelina? Why would you ever want knee sleeves or lifting shoes or wrist wraps? Or... To make things not hurt. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, so you're trying, to, you're trying to get away from some type of pain that you're feeling somewhere, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so why do you feel like you have that pain? The biggest thing I wear is my wrist wraps. And it's like, I don't know, man, my, my little wrist. I got tiny wrists and they hurt. Uh-huh. So that's, Yeah. I don't know why. I feel like when I wear them, I'm like, ooh, I'm stronger. <laughs> <laughs> so um, anytime that we're wearing something like, let's take wrist wraps for an example. Yes, the wrists are a very small structure. There's a lot of bones in there. There's a, a ton of um, ligaments that all need to be strengthened to get used to those types of weights. Pain is a signal your body is not ready for the weight that you were expecting it to throw over your head, basically, right? Or that your body is in a bad position, right? And it shouldn't be in that position. So it's giving you these signals to say, Hey, let's not do this. I'm not ready. Or, you know, your little wrist can't handle this. Or, <laughs> and instead we go, shut the fuck up, <laughs> put a wrist wrap on it and you'll be fine. And then eventually that leads to some type of major injury. You know, usually if you think about like when there's pain in a distal joint, a distal means like the furthest away from the body. So like proximal would be like our hips, distal from our hips would be our knees or our shoulders, right? Okay. Proximal from our wrist would be our shoulders, but distal from our shoulders would be our wrist. So the bigger structures work out to the smaller structures, like even to the little tiny joints in your fingers or the little tiny joints in your toes. You know what your fingers are called? What's that? Phalanges. <laughs> Anatomy. <laughs> I knew I needed to have you on this. This is perfect. Okay, if we want to protect your phalanges, okay. we need to make your wrist stronger and more stable. If we want to protect your wrists, we need to make your shoulders stronger and more stable. Okay. If we want to protect your shoulders, we need to make your hips and your core more stronger and stable, right? So you can look at it like if you have, usually people who have shoulder pain or something like that, we can usually work it down to some sort of a core strength issue or maybe a hip imbalance because everything works out distally from the center of the body and the center of the body is the hips, right? So bottom line is that if you're having some sort of a pain in your wrist, it means we probably need to work on the shoulders or we need to get the hips to realign or we need to look at your movement or you're just doing too much for what your body is actually capable of in this moment. Okay. Do you want to do CrossFit for a really long time? Heck yeah. Yeah. I want to be like 80. Badass. And be like, still come snatch. on guys, let's work out. Like still snatching. Yeah. And like, yeah, right? Yes. But think about it. If you could snatch when you're 80, do you think you need to go into a nursing home? No. Yeah, right? Like, you, like <laughs> even if it's just a barbell or like a trainer bar, if you're yeah. snatching when you're 80 years old, like you could probably get yourself up off the ground. You could probably wipe your own butt. You could yeah. probably do all those things, right? The goal here, you guys, is longevity. If you're using a belt, you're using knee sleeves, you're using wrist wraps, what you're basically doing is maybe taking away from some of that longevity because you're asking your body to do what it's not capable of in this moment. Okay, great. Now this is coming from a total hypocrite, right? <laughs> Who wears <laughs> knee sleeves and wrist wraps and lifting shoes and weight belts and all this stuff, yeah. right? Puts on way too much chalk. <laughs> all over. All Everywhere. Over. <laughs> Everywhere. Hey, it helped me PR my jerk today, so it was totally worth Ooh. it. But what am I trying to do versus you? What's the difference between me and you? I am doing, I'm here just to be healthy and like be happy. And, and what am I trying to do? You're like an athlete, like kicking butt, trying to go to like <laughs> regionals and yeah. be the best and all that. Exactly. Adelina's trying to play pickup football in the backyard and I'm trying to go to the NFL. Yep. I am willing to take some risks, right? with my body that needs some type of an external help. Right. Like my wrist can't handle 360 pounds <laughs> over their head. It probably shouldn't happen, but I'm, I'm okay with taking that risk of injuring myself in order to be better athletically, not to be healthier. 
Okay. So bottom line, what all this comes down to is before you guys go on Amazon or go to Rogue or go to Nike or go to wherever to get your new wrist straps or your new belts or your new knee sleeves is ask yourself why you're getting those things. If you're getting them for some type of a pain that is happening somewhere, don't get them. We need to stop talk to a coach and we need to look at why are you having pain? <laughs> you know, if you're having pain in your knee and you're like, well, I'm going to get a knee sleeve. That's going to solve my pain. It's like, no, we need to know why yeah. you're having pain in the knee and let's fix this issue. Now, then we have another conversation about, okay, well, what is your goal with CrossFit? You know, and if your goal is like, Hey, I want to compete in the masters, you know, 40 year old category or whatever. Okay, cool. Let's get the knee sleeves, but let's still work on fixing your issues but with an understanding that, hey, we're trying to push your body to a limit, mm -hmm. that you're okay with putting a little wear, wear and tear on. If your goal is like, I want to be able to take my shirt off, feel happy with myself <laughs> when I look in the mirror, go to the beach, have some confidence, and be healthy, then I suggest you guys slowly work yourself off of the knee sleeves. Work yourself away from the weight belts. If your back is starting to round when you're deadlifting, that's a sign that you're lifting too much weight. Mm -hmm. um, the joint, this is a little tip for you guys, um, but the joint that moves first is the one that gets loaded the most. So think about it. If I'm doing a deadlift and my back is nice and flat and I start to hinge at the hip first, that joint is the one that's going to be loaded the most. So my, my huge giant structure of my hips mm -hmm. are going to be the thing that's loaded. Now, if I start to deadlift on the other hand and the first joint that moves is my back, and the bar hasn't left the ground, right? My low back starts to round. Then the first joint that's the most loaded joint is going to be my spine, my vertebrae. No bueno. Exactly. So what do we do? Like we go to do that and we start to round our back and we go, okay, I know what I need. I need a weight belt. <laughs> that's and so me. That's oh, it. God. I just need my weight belt and that's going to make it better, right? And so we put on this weight belt, get it all super tight, right? And then we yeah. go to let this thing off the ground. And the only thing that keeps us from basically like our spine shooting on our back is like this inanimate object that's like holding yeah. it in from the outside, right? There are There is a time and a place for these things, but just take a step back before you go buying this stuff and ask yourself, why am I doing this? If it's for longevity, don't buy it. Move well. Mm -hmm drop the weight down a little bit, move a little bit quicker, move with more virtuosity. You'll be doing this thing for a really long time. Yeah. I actually had someone tell me once I debated on getting knee sleeves. Don't know why everyone had them. And I said, Oh, I must cool. have them too. Yeah, yeah. And I had someone tell me, Hey, I'm not going to say that. Like if you want to get knee sleeves because you think they look cool, you know what I mean? And you want to look cool. Like, okay. <laughs> you, I want to look the coolest, but I'm just saying don't get knee sleeves because your knees hurt. <laughs> okay. Well, I had someone tell me that they started doing squats with knee sleeves and haven't been able to squat without them. Like it became such a security blanket and I was like, wow, I don't want that to ever happen to me. So I never got them. So they like drop their keys and like, hold on, let me get my knee sleeves, <laughs> yeah. put them on, reach out to get my keys. Oh, thank God yes. I have my knee sleeves in my back pocket <laughs> for sure. Awesome. Yeah, so that's my tip of the week. Um, if you have any more questions, make sure you talk to a coach about it. Um, and we'd be lo we would love to help you out with anything you guys got going on. But just to recap, uh, January 1st, we're closed. Last day of the Nutrition Challenge is the 30th. Go on our website to do that. We will have a welcome letter going out to everybody who's doing the Nutrition Challenge on the 1st of January. So be look out if that if you guys do sign up. New apparel's on our website. January 13th, we've got the holiday party. It's going to be our send-off here at CRCF. Gift certificates still available. You don't have to pay for them. We're giving them to you. Remember that. And our tip of the week, before you put the sleeves on, ask yourself why. Cool beans? Cool beans. Cool right, beans. Guys. We'll see.